Palaces of Pleasure by Lee Jackson from Music Halls to Seaside um, to the Seaside to Football, How the Victorians Invented Mass Entertainment. So you are getting history book, <laughs> you are getting a look into um, the start of these different various uh, forms of entertainment um, bringing people together um, so it is a history book on places of entertainment and and again how they came to be so you are getting like reactions of like people at the time um, like the early start of different places like you're getting information on like acts licenses performers investors like pleasure garden casino music halls and the like type of thing and so on like the types of entertainment that came out of these like um new buildings or new forms of entertainment what other types of our um entertainment has come out of it um you get like at the beginning a note on money so like what type of um like conversion um or name of like the currency would be at like at that time to what it is today and so you um at the be um so for each place you get the name of it or like another name for it so like the gin palace or the aobs of suicide so the kind of like um the free and easy or the glorious apollo so um conclusion or the murderer of thought <laughs> so so like you are getting British Victorian history and the history of sort of certain um, places of entertainment in England um, you are looking at um, about 260 pages with notes on the bibliography which is um good to see so you do have other sources that you can look into that the author has looked into um you are getting a lot of names and times and like different things introduced to you so you're getting um you are getting things explained to you but you are getting a whole lot of stuff and people thrown at you that can at times can be confusing um and if this isn't totally um of interest to you um you might be like me at times where i'm like i might just scan until i'm like two pages into the next until the next chapter i'm gonna skim over these to the next chapter kind of thing so if it isn't that much of an interest to you you might be skimming over um the pages so And she, um, the author, um, Lee Jackson, does state in the conclusion that the um, one continuous like theme throughout the book is money. So you got economics kind of all throughout this book. So if yeah, it's about like these entertainment places, but it's also the economic side of it. So if you aren't interested in economics it might that might be why i was skimming <laughs> on a few pages so that might um differ you from actually reading this but there are a few different um kind of like points that you can um get out of this uh book but yeah so for some it this will be of great interest some will be like only read it if I have to <laughs> type of thing so there is that kind of um, like pull that I'm getting from it but yeah places of pleasure happy readings